If your home is built with a basement, then you have easy access to inspected structural underbelly. Any exposed concrete slab should be inspected to make sure it is free from those large cracks you can fit a pencil into. The basement walls are the foundation of the home and should be inspected closely to make sure there are no large cracks or efflorescence. Often walls are covered with drywall or paneling, so inspecting the foundation walls can take some ingenuity. Clues to look for are discoloration in the drywall and wet or moldy paneling. If this is seen then there is a problem and the wall is not draining or drying out properly. Modern home science also suggests that the basement should be insulated, cooled, and heated along with the rest of the house to prevent the growth of mold in this part of the home. Small cracks present anywhere in the basement should be filled with an epoxy that is made for sealing cement. Otherwise, if there ever is a hydrostatic or water pressure buildup in the soil against the foundation, water will seep into the house. Given that water can cause such problems to a basement, basements should include a sump pump. A sump pump is used to pump water out of the basement if there ever is a flood, and to turn on automatically if the water table below the foundation rises, preventing the basement from being flooded. Check to make sure the sump pump is in good condition and in working order. Make sure to inspect all wooden joists for dry rot or insect damage, paying close attention to areas that are dark and humid. Lastly, if you live in an area that is susceptible to radon gas, make sure that you have a proper radon ventilation system installed. Driveways and pathways on the property do not necessarily affect the structural integrity of your home. However, they may provide an early warning to potential problems with the house, like settling of the supporting soil or an evasive tree root. On walkways, check for large cracks or any gross unevenness. With stone walkways, check the mortar joints for any damage. Trees with evasive root systems should be planted well away from the home's foundation and walkways. Overall, be aware of the condition of your home's walkways because these clues are a reflection of what is happening to the home's foundation.